to make the EV1 work again. GM will cut all of the main power cables, taken out all of the batteries, and um, there's little sense leads that go to each battery, and um, they've taken all of those out. So without uh, Jeff Thomas at EV Bones having spare parts, uh, we wouldn't be able to get it going. So, and we also had, uh, fortunately, had the shop manuals and wiring schematics, and I have had experience as well as Jeff. And um, we have the fuse and the shunt and the emergency disconnect that they were taken out. So we had to figure out where and how to put those back in. And um, yeah, the worst thing was just all the little wires because there's a lot of plugs that go between the different computer modules, and some of them have like 32 wires each and stuff. So we had to connect all of those up. And it's, it's really almost a one day that he comes now. We spent many late nights getting that done. And then the other thing is, um, Jeff had... How, how long did it take you guys? Oh, boy. They got down there on, I think, on Tuesday. Or Monday or Tuesday. And then I got down there on Wednesday. And we hadn't had it actually running yet by Wednesday. And um, the first time we got it running, well, we turned it on and they see it all power up. But looking at the scan tool, um, the EV1 has seven computers. And so all the computers showed up, but the BTCM and the HTCM, which is the brake torque control module and the heating thermal control module, uh, they were removed by GM. So we have different, uh, it worked at least so the computer could see all that scan. But the BTCM is completely unique to the EV1, and it handles regenerative braking, um, ABS, and the rear brakes are fully electric to save weight, they're not even hydraulic, and so the BTCM also controls that. And so without that, it wouldn't actually allow the car to move at all. We could turn everything on and look at stuff, things worked okay, but it would not move the wheels. Can I interject something here? For those of you that are thinking about building your own electric car, it is nowhere near that complex. <laughs> not, not even close. Thank you, Steve. I mean, really, I mean, I don't want to scare anybody away, but you know, this was engineered by General Motors, so. Let's go ahead. And, um, it's, it's the equivalent of the space shuttle. Yeah. It's yeah. triply redundant. So. No, it's the equivalent of a current 2007 vehicle built in 95. Yeah. Well, also, I remember Correct. hearing a, a GM quote once that said, this car has more computing power than Apollo 13. Oh, yeah. So does my cell phone. Anyway, then we, um, we thought, well, okay, what are we going to do? Um, and then we thought, well, um, what if we put in, then maybe it wouldn't be looking for all these extra computers. So we did that. And then got in, turned it on, stuff came up. Um, it wasn't looking for the extra computers, and so we put it into drive, and ta -da, the wheels went in reverse. <laughs> and the EV1's motor is, so that's why it was going in the opposite direction. So then we thought, okay, well, three phase motor, flip two of the phases. So we did that, and fortunately, in the inverter bay, um, the three phase wires, one of them was really long. And then two others were the exact same length, so it's pretty easy to flip those. So we flip those. All right, let's drive it now. Click, and then <laughs> it just kind of shook. Ah, oh, we hadn't flipped the same appropriate wires in the speed encoder. So uh, it was not timed right. So then we did that, and then it worked okay. But we do not have uh, rear brakes at all, so it's just the hydraulic brakes. And there's still a few weird things that it isn't completely normal, but it's drivable and works. And As you, well, how far did you drive it down there in California? That other show, right? Maybe a mile or two, a mile down and back. Well. well, all I can do is give you a hand, bro. <laughs> Uh, Western just wanted to have it. Uh, where is Dr. Seeling? It's on the phone and uh, we're going to see him warm. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, the, the goal, I believe, they just wanted to get this running and um, and show it at events and stuff and sort of drum up um, interest for their vehicle research and design and research. And keep the goal alive. Yeah. And just show people, I mean, because it really is very sad that it, it's such an advanced automobile and there's so many little things that they did and like the, the aluminum frame itself minus the suspension and um, all that and batteries weighs only 290 pounds and yet it had crumple zones and passed all of the highway crash tests and everything. And I mean, it was just really a brilliant piece of engineering. And, and then they smashed all of them and took them away from people willing to buy them. And That's because nobody wanted them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have a question. It's like, so GM knows that they're doing this, and they even said they're going to make it a hybrid, and that's part of the whole reason why they're allowing them to do this? Oh, okay, no. Um, so don't go telling GM, hey, we've got to run it. Right, because I want, to, I want to make sure that we don't really well, totally yeah. 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 So, so now, now it's all over YouTube. So. No, it's all over YouTube. Yeah. But, um, yeah. King, Cairo. I, I started to, there were a lot of questions on YouTube and I started to reply to them to think, to say the university name and who they are and then I realized yeah. maybe we shouldn't exactly yeah. drop first person names well, and locations. Figure that out. But I'll, we'll let them figure it out. The thing that they're going to do is, yes, it's okay for them to get it running again as a hybrid. Okay. Why? Well, probably because a hybrid uses gasoline. <laughs> but, um, it's, yeah. So it's okay for them to get it running as a hybrid. So they'll put a little generator in the back or something, and then it can charge the charger to charge it. And <laughs> but, then but they my, can my, remove the generator. My question is, uh, if GM knows that they're doing this, GM isn't going to drop them a part or two here or there? Like, at their well, university? It's probably going to be the other way around. Know, GM first. doesn't want to know it's running. Well, Dr. 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 if you remember what Dr. Seal said, he is, he's been very well connected with the auto industry for 30 years or more. But maybe not that good, you know. Okay. <laughs> he also said, he told me that he had talked with um, somebody from the university and also somebody from the state, like the um, uh, state attorney general or somebody, and about this, oh, here he is. And, Dr. Seal, what did the state attorney general have to say oh. if GM is going to come after you for the EV1? Come on up here to the main table. Uh, questions or what, what's the deal? Well, well you, had, you had told me that I think it was the Washington State Attorney General said, well, GM has big pockets, but so does Washington State. Yeah, basically. Well, the, uh, the Attorney General, when it comes to that, mm -hmm. But we all kind of think it would not be in GM's best interest now with how green they're <laughs> to, to come after this EV1 to crush it now. <laughs> but we did promise we'd make it into a hybrid, and we will, just because we keep promises. And I think we could actually improve the car as a hybrid, but we, we want to keep all the pieces so it can be put back in, uh, should we say, G G right. Well, anyway, that kind of covers the EV1, unless uh, you had any, anybody have any more questions of our uh, guests tonight, specifically to the EV1. How many colleges have them, approximately? Well, I don't know. There are 40. Mm -hmm. um, Brigham Young University's runs. Yeah. With ultra capacity. So they, they, they don't have the original system, but they do run the original motor. Marymount has one, Loyola has one, and uh, there are 40 or possibly 41 not crushed. Uh, I've seen them in museums, the Ford Museum has one. <laughs> I touched that one. Yeah, there, there are other museums that have them. So far as I know, I was able to talk with the curators and they said, no, they don't run. They're not yet. Yeah, I mean, certainly.